12.07 a.m. on May 7, 2025, screens across Pakistan's Air Force Operations Room ignited in crimson warnings. Across the border, 70 Indian fighter jets had begun their assault. What followed in the darkness would rewrite the rules of modern aerial combat forever. Air Chief Marshal Zahir Sidhu had been sleeping on a mattress beside that operations room for days, waiting. When Target the moment the came, his orders were precise. Target the Rafales. The Rafale had never fallen in combat. France's technological masterpiece, forged in the workshops of Dassault Aviation, had emerged unscathed from conflicts across Afghanistan, Libya, Mali. India had invested $7 billion in these machines, believing them invincible. Against them flew Pakistan's J-10Cs, China's vigorous dragons. Untested in battle, they carried missiles the world had underestimated. The battle began with a fundamental miscalculation. Indian intelligence believed the Chinese PL-15 missiles could reach only 150 kilometers. The export variants published range. They were wrong. Pakistan possessed the full capability variant, 300 kilometers of lethal reach. As Indian Rafales crossed into what they believed was safe airspace, they were already condemned. But superior weaponry alone could not explain what happened next. Pakistan had constructed something more dangerous than any single missile or aircraft, a kill chain. A network that connected satellites to sensors, radars to fighters, creating a web of awareness that would prove decisive. At 182 kilometers, a distance that would set a world record, the first PL-15 found its target. The Rafale, France's pride, became wreckage scattered across contested airspace. It was the first time a Chinese-made fighter had defeated Western technology in combat. The electronic warfare was as crucial as the kinetic. Pakistan's systems reached into Indian communications, disrupting, confusing, creating doubt where certainty had existed moments before. The fog of war became digital. The implications rippled far beyond the battlefield. In financial markets, Dassault Aviation's shares plummeted while China's Chengdu Aircraft Corporation soared. The narrative of Western technological supremacy had cracked. But this was more than national rivalry. China's kill web, 470 surveillance satellites feeding data to integrated weapon systems, represented a new form of warfare. Not just machine against machine, but system against system. By May 10th, India had adapted. Brahmos missiles sliced through Pakistani air defenses. The conflict escalated until diplomacy intervened, leaving both nations changed. Pakistan had proven Chinese technology could challenge the West. India had learned the cost of underestimating networked warfare. In Beijing, Lieutenant General Wang Gang arrived in Islamabad to study Pakistan's kill chain implementation. The student had become the teacher. The future of warfare had revealed itself in the darkness over Kashmir. The May 7th engagement was more than a battle. It was a preview. As artificial intelligence advances from narrow applications to general intelligence, the kill chains of today will evolve into something far more autonomous and dangerous. Jeffrey Hinton, the godfather of artificial intelligence, warns of a nightmare scenario where machines set their own goals. In warfare, this future approaches faster than we dare acknowledge. The shadows over Kashmir were just the beginning.